Okay, so now we have a fully functioning open foam installation with quite a few bells and whistles already installed. Um, the last bit of software that we need to install for fluid simulations is my own code, which is available on GitHub. If you uh, have an account there, I can give you access to that code. Um, but I have also, for my students, put this on the University of Google Drive, which is shared with you, uh, my students, and you can download it from there. Which This is the Hemofoam 0.1 master.zip. Um, you can download it from there and then compile it yourself. So I opened that with the archive manager. Um, this folder needs to get extracted into the OpenFoam applications folder. Um, so extract it in here. And from there, we can then start the installation. So I need to change into that folder. and start the installation there. So I'm in that folder now, and what I need to do there is again, run the all w make command in that folder. The dot slash means run a command in the current folder. So that is the command that I run in there, which is this little script here. And when I run that, it will start an installation process or a compilation process again. So you need to initialize OpenFoam if you haven't done so already. In this case, I have done that already. So now you just need to run this all w make command, which shouldn't run for much longer than a few minutes. And that will compile the blood flow specific code that I've written for my research. The reason I don't just give you the application uh, in pre-compiled form is that this way it works regardless of which version of OpenFoam or which version of Linux you have. And um, during the course of the project, we may want to update the code. Uh, so I may want to change features or change set, um, the program, uh, the code itself. So you would need to download a new um, a zip file and then um, install that again or compile that again. That's the easiest way to keep your code up to date. So we're nearly there. In that open foam hemofoam folder, so in your applications, hemofoam master here, you will find tutorial a tutorial case. Let me just copy that and copy that into the run folder. We'll paste that in here. Um, we can then test if the installation worked by going to that run folder where we will find that carotid transient course 
case. So if we change into that, you will find the whole setup for open foam in here. And if we want to start that simulation, um, we can do so by issuing the command Hemel Pimple Foam. So this has started now, which means the software has installed correctly. Um, this case is a rather complex case, so this would run for quite a long time. So you may not want to finish that run now, but I just started it to test that the installation worked. So whenever you want to stop a command that is running in the terminal, the way to do so is the com uh, key combination control and Z, which will stop any command running in the terminal. Okay, we now have a fully working installation of Hemofoam, which is based on OpenFoam. We have the extensions PyFoam and swag for foam installed, and we should also have the Paraview um, visualization tool installed. Oops, that was not on here. So we have Paraview installed here. So that is going to be our post-processing tool later on. You can now move on to, at this stage, move on to my other YouTube playlist, which will show you how you can set up this carotid uh, simulation, etc., in uh, quite a lot of detail. It will start from meshing, which you do not need to do if you just want to run the tutorial case that I have just shown you, but it will start from an iChess file, which you will also find on the Google Drive. And you can start with meshing there. The ISM CFD tool, which I use for the meshing, is not installed in this Linux at the moment, but that is available on our university workstations. So this is it for the Open Foam installation. I will continue in this video series with the installation of some other software that we will need for fluid structure interaction.